The Duke Lives Here on KCTV. And now, Hot Point presents America's favorite family comedy, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. Hi. Hi. You in a happy mood? Well, uh, yes, uh, reasonably so. Why shouldn't I be? Well, I'm afraid we're in for a little plastering work in the boys' bedroom. Oh, really? What happened up there? Well, when it rained last night, it seeped in through that broken gutter and really messed things up good. Oh, gee, that's a shame. Did you call the plasterer? Mm-hmm. He's coming over tomorrow. You know, I hate to be an I told you so, but if you'd had Mr. Baxter fix that gutter last week when he was here, this wouldn't have happened. Well, Harry, I told you about that. I just didn't like the man's attitude. You mean he wanted to be paid for the job? <laughs> yes, well, of course he, he wanted to be paid, but I mean, he wanted to make a big project out of it, put in a whole new gutter when the hole in the old one is only as big as the hole in my bowling ball. I know. I brought my bowling ball up there and showed him. Well, how did it finally wind up? We went bowling. <laughs> well, gee, Harriet, he wanted $43. That sounds reasonable. Well, yes, if he'd do a good job. Frankly, I don't see how he could. Any man who bowls as well as he does just doesn't spend enough time on his work. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll phone him and have him come over again tomorrow. <laughs> Well, what's the verdict, Mr. Baxter? Well, it's no better than it was last time I looked at it. In fact, it's a lot worse. Oh. What do you suggest? Same thing I suggested last time. Now, look, I don't want to go bowling again. <laughs> uh, isn't that, Mr. Nelson? I told you that rain gutter has to be replaced. If you'd had it done before, you'd have saved yourself all that damage to the boys' room. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, let's see, you said it would cost $33, didn't you? Fifty-three. You said 43, and you know it. <laughs> Why did you say 33? Well, it, it never hurts to haggle a little about these things. <laughs> the price is $43. No, it'll be 44.75. Well, why, for goodness sakes? You stuck me for the bowling. <laughs> well, uh, doesn't that come under the heading of entertaining prospective customers or, or something like that? Mr. Nelson, do you know how much I make on a $43 job? No. And I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I don't want you feeling sorry for me and offering me more money. Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want me to do the job or not? Yeah, I, I think you'd better do it. Uh, when do you think you can get around to it? Well, let's see. I've got the Evans house to finish, and there's the Wilson job. It'll be about a week. We well, suppose it rains again before then. Oh, I keep in close touch with the weatherman. There's no rain predicted for a couple of weeks. There's my card. If you change your mind or anything, you can phone me. I can get you this number? No, but they'll know what bowling alley I'm at. <laughs> okay, so long. Twenty-eight dollars for repairing that wall, Harry? Well, the water did a lot of damage. Look, they had to replaster and everything. Hey, Pop, Mr. Baxter's here. Oh, uh, thanks a lot, Dave. I'd better go keep an eye on him, make sure he does a good job. Oh, Ozzy, I'm sure he knows his business. <laughs> well, maybe so, Harry, but you've got to keep an eye on those fellows so they don't do things the way they're supposed to. I think you just better let them alone. Uh, Harry, please. Remember the time you wanted a switch put in so you could turn off the downstairs hall lights from up here? The electrician wanted to cut through the wall and put in a new switch when we had a perfectly good switch up here. It's a lucky thing I kept an eye on him. That's just exactly what I mean. It always seems so silly to go into the bathroom here to turn off the downstairs hall light. <laughs> hey, Bob, Mr. Baxter wants to talk to you. Oh, uh, I'd better go down and see what he wants, Harriet. Mr. Baxter? Oh, oh Mr. Nelson, I, I want to show you something. Climb up the ladder and take a look at what's in the rain gutter. Now, just a second. You gave me a firm price of $43. And I'm sticking to it. Just climb up and take a look.
You see it, Mr. Nelson? Oh, you mean this bird's nest? Yeah. Hey, there are three robin's eggs in it. What's the matter? Don't worry, little robin. Now, everything's okay. I just thought you'd like to take a look. Yeah. Well, I'll get my tools and start tearing the old gutter down. Oh, well, no, 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 wait a minute, Mr. Baxter. Uh, what about the bird's nest? You can't disturb that. Oh, I'll take it down very carefully and put it in that tree over there. Uh, evidently, you don't know very much about birds. No, they don't have very much sheet metal work done. <laughs> no, I, I mean, if you move a bird's nest, the, the mother will just abandon it and leave the eggs there. Well, what do you want me to do? You want a new gutter, don't you? Well, uh, yes, but I mean, you, you can't just evict a, a mother-to-be. <laughs> I mean, how would you like it if somebody just moved your wife out into the street if, uh, her, if conditions were similar? Oh, that's ridiculous. My wife never sits on eggs. <laughs> you know darn well what I mean. Mr. Nelson, you're blushing. <laughs> Well, what do you want me to do? Well, I don't think there's very much we can do. Just have to let Mother Nature take her course. All right, it's your gutter. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Only if you don't get it fixed before the next rainstorm, all that plastering you had done in the boys' room is going to be a total loss. Well, yes, I, I, I know. Call me if you change your mind. You've oh, been all through that phone number in the bowling alley bit before, remember? <laughs> Did you see Mr. Baxter drive away? Oh, uh, yes, you did. Well, isn't he going to do the work? Uh, no, uh, not right now. Oh, look, dear, why don't you pay him what he wants and get it over with? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no, we got together on terms, but it's just that something has come up that'll delay it a little bit. You mean you have to raise the money first, Pop? <laughs> oh, no, uh, son, nothing like that. I don't see why he won't trust you. You have an honest face. I trust you. Well, <laughs> Well, thanks very much for your vote of confidence, but it has nothing to do with money. It seems some robins have built a nest in the gutter pipe. Well, take it out. No, you don't understand, Harriet. It has three little robin's eggs in it. We can't disturb a mother-to-be at a crucial time like this. Well, suppose it rains. Well, we just have to take our chances. How long does a mother-to-be have to be before she is? <laughs> I think about two weeks. Uh, so we've got eight or ten comfortable trees, a garage, and an empty birdhouse out there. Why did she have to pick our rain gutter? Well, I don't know. You know how unreasonable mothers can be at a time like this. That's a pretty sweeping statement. Well, no, I don't think so. Uh, look how unreasonable... Uh... How? <laughs> you kept asking for cucumber sandwiches. Huh? Uh, yeah. Suppose it rains. Yeah, your mother mentioned that before. I've been worried about that, too, Harriet. Gee, I'm sorry you got that plastering done in the boys' room. Well, dear, stop worrying about it. Go call the weatherman and see what the forecast is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's an idea. I'll look it up, Pop. Well, let me have the book, son. That's okay. I can look it up. Let's see. Weatherman. Weather. Here we are. Max Weatherman. <laughs> no, 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 son. Uh, that, that's not the right weatherman. He's the only weatherman in the book, Pa. Well, I know, but you look this up in different... I think it's United States Department of Commerce. Probably the weather department, the forecasting department. That's it, forecasting. Forecasting. Hey, Ma, can they tell whether it's going to be girl robins or boy robins? <laughs> I'm afraid that's out of their department. Weather Bureau. Uh... Say, I wonder if you could tell me if there's going to be any rain in the next two weeks. Oh, just a second. Let me take a look at my charts here. Hello. Yeah? No, there's no rain due for nearly three weeks. Oh, uh, good. you sure? Why do you call me up if you don't trust me? No. <laughs> oh, I, I, I trust you. Well, if you have any doubts, call up some friend with a trick knee. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. And 
now here's your 955 weather report. Tomorrow, fair and slightly warmer. And here's some good news for the farmers. A low-pressure area is forming over the mountains, and rain is expected in this area. And back to another platter. This time... Rain expected? But the eggs won't be hatched for another week. We can't move the nest. Well, if it rains for the nest in the gutter pipe, it's going to clog up again. Then we're going to have another plaster job in the boys' room. That's what I mean. $28. Gee, I wish this mother robin would hurry up and hatch the eggs. Oh, I know, dear, but you know how unreasonable mothers are. <laughs> Golly, this just isn't fair. All this expense, and they aren't even our children. <laughs> The classics live here on KCTV, and so should your business. Sponsor our popular programs, reach out to our local audience, and start ringing that register now. Camelot lives forever, here on KCTV. Weather Bureau. Uh, say, I called you about a week ago and asked it was going to rain, and you said we didn't expect any rain for about three weeks, and now the man on the radio just announced that rain was expected. Well, that's right. Well, how could you make an error like that? Well, when I made the original prediction, it was correct. Uh, however, I couldn't foresee that the wind direction would change in Alaska and push a cold air mass southward. Well, don't you have weather stations in Alaska? Yes. Well, didn't you hear anything from them? Only that it was cold. <laughs> Look, uh, this isn't funny. It so happens I've got a nest in my gutter pipe. Sorry. It sounded as if you said you've got a nest in your gutter pipe. That's what I said. I've got a nest in my gutter pipe and it leaks. And I can't get it repaired because there are three robin's eggs in it. Why aren't the eggs in the nest? Well, they are in the nest and the nest is in the gutter pipe. And the gutter pipe leaks and I can't get it repaired until the eggs hatch. And now you predict rain. Oh, would it make you feel better if I told you it wasn't going to rain? Oh, yes, it would. Well, I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> You're sure it's going to rain? Look, if you don't trust me, call up some friend who has a trick knee. <laughs> up there. Oh, hi, Thorny. I'll be right down. Is that where you hide your money, Oz? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just looking at this bird's nest I was telling you about. Oh, yeah. Anything happening? No, and it's going to happen pretty soon, too. You hear about the storm that's on its way? Yeah. You're in quite a spot, huh? Yeah, I'll see. The rain gets here before I get that gutter fixed, I'm going to have a nice repair bill on my hands. The boy's upstairs bedroom. You know, I can't understand birds. This mother robin sits on the nest for a couple of hours and then flies away and leaves the eggs. Well, wouldn't you? You ever tried sitting on eggs? It's a real delicate operation. <laughs> you don't just plop down on them. You sort of ease yourself over them. It's like sitting down on a chair when you don't have a chair. <laughs> get the picture? Well, yeah, I get the picture. But, I mean, if she doesn't stay on the eggs, how are they ever going to hatch? I, I can't understand it. She flies away and lets the eggs all cool off. Now when she comes back, she's got to get steamed up all over again. Well, Oz, every time she leaves, why don't you go up there with a the heating pad just to keep the pot boiling? <laughs> yeah, that's an idea. Now, how would I know what temperature to set it at? Well, I think you'd be safe in turning it up to backache. <laughs> I, I wish the mother robin would cooperate if she'd only keep her mind on her business. Well, she just goes out for something to eat, Oz. Yeah. Well, we tried to keep her on the job by serving her little tidbits from the table, but she just turns them down. Well, you know how mothers are at a time like this. Is Harriet still eating those cucumber sandwiches? <laughs> Pop, I just heard the weather report. A storm's going to get here a half a day earlier. Oh, gee. I'll have to do something about that. Oh, Oz, there she goes. She's flying away. Come back. Come back here. Come back. Oh, darn it. Now the eggs will all cool off again. Hey, why don't you get a hot water bottle? Well, I suggested a heating pad. 
For goodness sakes, I thought you were kidding. That's the silliest idea I've ever heard of. Well, all right, just what's your suggestion? Say, I've got it. reach. Well, don't you have any more extension cord? No, sir. Well, I don't think that heating pad's a very good idea anyway. Gee, I wish that mother robin would come back to the nest and sit on those eggs. Looks like a storm is coming up, too. Take a look at that sky. Yeah, it sure does. Hey, Dave, maybe you better go inside and shut those upstairs windows. We don't want any more damage. Okay, Pop. In Congress today. And now here's... Oh, Ozzy, help one. me close the window. Well, the residents of this area are in for a good old-fashioned rainstorm. The storm that's approaching the city has already deposited more than an inch of rain in the foothills, causing rock slides and minor mud damage. Small craft warnings have been posted along the coast. Harriet! And here's a human interest story about the weather. A local resident, Mr. Ozzie Nelson, has been fighting a losing battle with the stork. That is, if the stork brings baby Robin. Three little blue eggs repose in a nest in Mr. Nelson's damaged rain gutter, and he's refused to disturb the nest to have repairs made even though the approaching storm will cause hundreds of dollars of damage to his home. Hundreds Mr. Nelson, of dollars of damage? We salute you. The latest news is brought to you every hour on the hour. Did you hear that, Harriet? Hundreds of dollars of damage. Oh, you know how they exaggerate, just the way you do. <laughs> Father. He went outside to see if the mother robin came back yet. I guess she did. Why, how do you know? Pops up on the ladder with an umbrella and a can of sterno. <laughs> Congratulations, Oz. Hi, Barney. Thanks Where are the life. cigars? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are they, boys or girls? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What kind of a father are you? Don't you care? <laughs> oh, I care. <laughs> hey, take it easy there, Rick. Hi, Rick. Yeah, you better take it easy up there. You ought to see them, Mr. Thornberry. They're all mouth. Yeah, he's right, Barney. They're all mouth. <laughs> well, whatever they are, Oz, they sure take after you. <laughs> <laughs> They're hungry, Pop. We ought to feed them. Oh, now that's the mother's job, Rick. Lunch! Come on, Rick. Lunch is ready. 
Oh, hi, Thorny. Hi, Harriet. Did you hear about our new arrival? I sure did. I just came over to congratulate the lucky parents. <laughs> <laughs> Thorny suggested I go out and buy a box of cigars for the occasion. <laughs> well, I think I'll run along now. I know how busy you are with the new babies and everything. See you later, Dad. Dad. Uh, feeling all right, Harriet? Oh, yeah, fine. Thank you. Good. <laughs> hey, Mom. Can we have spaghetti with tomato sauce? Well, what for? I want to feed it to the birds for worms. Oh, well, don't worry about them, dear. Their mother will take care of them. Come on. Oh, Pa, there's a plaster upstairs in our bedroom looking for you. Well, I thought your mother wasn't going to call him until after we got the gutter fixed. I don't know. He's upstairs looking it over. Oh. Well, I don't think he ought to get $28 again. Oh, uh, how do you do? Oh, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> Uh, as you can see for yourself, it's not much of a job. I, I figured about $15 ought to do the trick. No, 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 you must understand, Mr. Oh, uh, 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 pardon me, uh, I, I don't mean to sound cheap, but you see, we already have $28 invested in the wall. Hello. Oh, oh, uh, hello, Mrs. Nelson. Oh, you're not the same man who was here before. No, 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 I'm not. Uh, but I, I was telling him, Harriet, that we've already got $28 invested in, in this. I figured $15 would be an equitable price. Uh, see, uh, some robins built a nest yes, in I our know. gutter. I, I know all about it, Mr. Nelson. I heard about the nest on the radio. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're quite a celebrity, Pa. Oh, hi, Dave. He's about everybody in town heard that broadcast. I've just been out feeding the birds again, Pa. Not again? You've been stuffing those poor little birds with bugs and worms all day. Listen, David, maybe you don't care what happens to your little brothers, but I do. <laughs> oh, cut it out. Oh, I'm sorry, Pa. We interrupting something? Uh, well, uh, in a way, David, this gentleman and I were discussing the price of uh, fixing the wall. Now, my absolute top is $15, but I may go as high as 18 <laughs> Now, I didn't come here to give you an estimate on this work. Well, you didn't? No, I'm president of the local chapter of the Bird Lovers of America, and I came to present you with this scroll as a token of our appreciation for what you've done. A scroll? <laughs> About that, uh, Harriet. Uh, here, I'll take your hat. Thank you. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, far too many of us neglect our feathered friends. So for your humanitarian act, we have selected you as our bird lover of the month. Thank you very much. Please, please. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really deeply honored. And all I can say is you've taken me completely by $28. By, by, <laughs> by the prize. Uh, actually, Mr. Nelson, you've made quite a sacrifice, and this scroll doesn't begin to repay you. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to show my appreciation in a little more personal way. I'd be glad to do the plastering for you for... Uh, no, I I'm sorry, but $18 is my top offer. I was going to say for nothing. <laughs> oh, no, thank you very much. It's very kind of you to offer, but I insist on paying something. Mr. Nelson, I'm also president of the local plasterers union. Either I do the work for nothing as a bird lover, or it's 2860 Union Scale. <laughs> I love those birds! I guess you noticed the robins have all flown away. Yeah. Well, how soon would you be able to get started on the gutter now? Oh, two or three weeks. It depends. Depends on what? How long it takes mockingbird eggs to hatch. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You mean we've got a, a nest of... Yes, you have. Call me when they hatch. <laughs> Cary Grant lives here on KCTV.